Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an attractive ESO character. So as you can see here, I have quite a few good ESO characters. So the reason for why I'm making this video is because the default ESO character is like a pudgy looking character and a lot of people don't know how to do this. So I hope this video helps and let's just get right into it. The basic creation of the character is the same, like, the build will be the same for every character. So just like follow what I do, there might be a few differences for the races, but overall it's pretty much the same. And for this demonstration I'm going to make a uh, Dark Elf. So you're going to want to put it all the way to the thing, that's number one. This is like different for races, so uh, yeah, just pick which one. Body marking. Probably don't want any body markings. Torso. Torso is important. You're going to want to put that all the way to the back. The reason for that is because it makes it so that when you pop the chest, it looks a lot better. Gut size. Gut size is really important. You want to put that in the there's a lot more improvement there. A lot more waste. You're going to want to put that all the way down to. Now that's a lot more improvement. So just those two things already make your character look way better. Arms, you're not really going to notice it, but I put that all the way down to. Hands, you're not going to notice it, but I put it all the way down to. Um, now lower body. This is where you want to make everything big. So hip size, bam. Exterior dimensions, that's your bubble. Boom. Legs. A lot of people don't know this, but you want to make the legs as big as possible. And foot size, you're probably going to want to put that away. So, when you make this, you're not really looking for what looks best in the character creation, but what looks best in your gear. Because gear is what you're going to be in all the time. So, you can see that's pretty good. Legs down, it doesn't look right. Okay, go up. Just put it all the way up. Makes it look pretty good. Which is good. And then for the face, soft as possible. You're going to want it to be soft. Voice, the highest pitch voice possible. That's hair for this character. Hair color. Probably going to want the brightest hair color there is. So, for this character, will probably be this. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Hairstyle. Hairstyle style is important. You're going to want the longest hair. So, for um, other races, this hairstyle is the most optimal. Because um, other races don't have the best hairstyle, but... If you have a race that does, then you're going to want... This hairstyle, but not all races have this hairstyle, so if it doesn't, then go back to the one that I was originally on. Age all the way down, adornment. Of course, that's up to personal preference for the adornment, but uh, my favorite would be that one, because I like the fucking cyan color. These parts you don't really even notice that much. So forehead slope, you know, you don't even notice that. I usually just change this a few ticks, just so that it's not the same as the default. I usually make cheekbones a little bit bigger. Cheekbone height down, jaw down, chin down, chin height down. You can't really even notice a difference, so it doesn't really matter that much. Next size, all the way down. Alright, um, eye color, you're probably going to want the one that's brightest, that sticks out the most. Since I'm a dark elf, I'm going to go with red, just because red is what dark elves usually have. So I'm going to go with that one. 
my size, something you're not gonna notice. I usually just make it like as big as possible. My angle, you're not gonna notice that separation. Just do these like one tick so that you're at least a little different. And uh, I usually open the eyes up all the way down. Eyebrows. Eyebrows, you just wanna find something where it's not that noticeable. Like the one all the way to the right usually looks pretty decent. Full lip fullness. Now, um, this doesn't look as good in the character creation screen, but what you're going for is what it looks like in game. And in game, it looks the best to put it up to the fullest. Ear size, um, you know, if you're an elf, this is probably more important, but if you're not, then it's not important. I go with, uh, probably trying to make it smaller rotation uh, this doesn't really you're not even really going to notice this that much but uh, I put them in ear light I do all the way up I just think that looks cool and ear tip flare I make a nice flare and uh, that's it and you're done and uh, I'll show you what it looks like in game so it looks a lot better in game than it does in the character creation kit and that's what you're going for Hold on, oh, oh, I missed one thing. Shit, how do I get out of this? Fuck. Ah, uh, goddammit. Uh. Cancel button. Fuck. Uh, come on. I seriously don't have a cancel button right now. You click create. already in use. Alright, I get a redo then. For some reason that's already in use. Alright, um, the thing that I forgot to mention is, uh, I think I missed, uh, head marking. Head marking is important. You want the, uh, that head marking. That makes the eyes look a lot better. Now we're ready to create it. Now it's optimal. Now it's perfect. So let's check out how it looks in-game. Check it out. screen might take a little while, probably like 20 seconds.
perfect. And that's how you create an attractive ESO character. Yeah, see? So, uh, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.